back to ladies night took a couple weeks off but we are back and better than ever we had some vacations we had some things going on but we are back we're here we're good ladies how we feeling i forget (laughs) (laughs) we're feeling a lot how are you feeling i don't know it's a rough month to be honest i think the whole crew is kind of struggling yeah it's a it's a hungover monday in the studio but it's okay we all got our drinks we're all ready to we're rallying back at it we are rallying and we have a very special guest this week we've got meredith (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> We've got our good friend Meredith joining us for today's episode, filling in for Molly, who's sick. Who's sick? Who is sick. Sick. Yeah. If you can hear okay. our on a Monday, um, what are these classic air Molly quotes. air quotes? Air quotes. Air quotes. Happy to be here. Sick air quotes. <laughs> Meredith, how do you me. feel? Your first podcast. First podcast. Feeling a little jittery, but I think it'll all come into place. Not the first podcast jitters. Yeah, first podcast. It's jitters. okay. Well, we're excited like to have you. We're excited yes. to be back. Yes. Um, like we said, we're all struggling a little bit after the weekend's festivities. Mm-hmm. Two-day um, hangover, one starting the hangover. Two-day yeah. hangover, one's coming down off their hangover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and vacation hangover. We've got a lot going on. Um, but we can jump right into all the fun stories that we're here to talk about. Uh, first and foremost, Hannah Burner has announced that she is leaving Summer House. <laughs> Justin, hit us. Yeah. Please don't cry too loud. <laughs> Thank you. God, <laughs> it was her time. It was her time last season. It, I hate her. She, I can positively say I there hate is her. so much to unpack about Hannah and the reunions part one and two. She just looked like such a moron. Mm-hmm. She just sat there while getting roasted by everyone. And all she did was sit there and cry. Yeah. Danielle she made came. zero valid points. She was only annoying about everything that she did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She just deflected everything. I was. Oh. She honestly should have just prepared to go in and be like, you know what? I sucked. And I'm sorry, (laughs) everyone. Like at that point when all that many people are mad at you and yelling at you, which would suck. You just have to sit there and take it and be like, you guys are right. I fucking suck. I'm sorry. And I didn't handle it all well. And you're all right. And I'm wrong. Here's the thing about her, though. I don't think she thinks she did anything wrong. Mm. She's no, still. She no, she still is no. not. Yeah. She, she was so unapologetic yeah. and she was just absolutely saying what everybody wanted to hear at the end when they were all like, can you just say you're fucking sorry? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Danielle, the quietest of them all really came after mm-hmm. her. She was ready for a fight and yeah. she showed, she showed up. I like Danielle. Mm-hmm. I do Danielle. too. She's sneaky became one of my favorite That's characters. That's what I was just about I to fair, say. I didn't care for her very much in the beginning because she didn't really do much. So I was like, eh, why is this girl? She was just like Carl's like ex-girlfriend who was just randomly in this house. Yep. And I was like, this is weird, but I'm a big I, fan of her. I really grew to like her. This I really season, like her a lot. I think she became her and my Lindsay favorite. and Carl, like as like a trio. I really Lindsay's enjoy. a psychopath, but in the best way. Okay. I love her so much. <laughs> I was thinking this to myself. I was watching the second part of the reunion. I had so much TV to catch up on when I got home. Um, but yeah, she's so crazy that it makes her one of my favorite reality TV people ever. Exactly. I'm like obsessed with her. I would never really want to be her friend or be around her, but she's hilarious. Super and she toxic, makes great but she's TV. hilarious. Yeah, she's one of those people where like you hang out with her, like one of those friends you hang out with her, and then you just like never really know which direction the way <laughs> yeah. like that night is going to go. Like, it, could she hate you by the end? Is she going to scream at you? Is yeah. she going to love you? I have a friend like that, and I'd be like, I never know like which one I'm going to get that's tonight. Scary. You yeah. Be on your toes. You know, on your toes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every single minute. But I loved um, when Danielle was talking to her and Lindsay was like, I mean, like, am I the problem? And she was just like, yeah. yeah. And Lindsay took it. That, that's those are best friends right there. Mm-hmm. I you thought know? she was going to freak out. And then she was like, OK, that's right. fair. Well, and the amount like, of times that. that Danielle legitimately said to her face, I do not like your boyfriend. You mm-hmm. two should not be together. I hate him. And Lindsay's just like, well, Maybe. <laughs> oh, like, no, you guys she are bad together. She I was dying when um, they were talking about how he was just like working the whole time. He was working, working, working. And then someone was like, he was playing computer games. I saw. Oh, my God. And I was I crying the thought of him just like sitting there playing computer games, like just not hanging out with her because he just Seriously? didn't like her. It came like, up the sandwich I think episode. it was a joke. Yeah. It was after the sandwich <laughs> thing. When have you ever made me a sandwich? <laughs> She's so crazy. Honestly, sometimes I like get, I get her point. Like, 
Like, I get what she was getting at. Oh, she yeah. sounded nuts saying it, but I totally understand where she isn't that the thoughts behind it, where she was coming don't from. Don't you get scared though when you can relate to people like Lindsay when it comes to relationships? <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. But you I think I haven't yelled at Justin for not making me a sandwich. Yeah. You're wrong because I definitely have. I know. Oh yeah. If Andy orders food and doesn't, and I say I don't want any, he doesn't order me food, I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You, you were supposed to surprise Literally me. You were supposed to order me food, even though I said no. He's like, what? Uh, Mixed don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't you know that? Um, wait, but back to Hannah. I did love when it showed Paige. Like, Paige tried to do it, like, off camera. And oh, she was like, just apologize. <laughs> That's when I was like, you know you're wrong when your best friend. She, like, Andy was asking Paige. She was like, how do you feel about all this? And Paige was straight up like, I don't want to be, on, I don't want to get into it. Which mm-hmm. means that Hugh, you're. You're so wrong that even your best friend isn't sticking up for you yeah. when you're under fire like this. Like everyone's coming at you. No one is on your side. You have to just Oof. like you have to connect those dots and like uh, just apologize. Yeah. And when your best friend tells you my best friend, Marissa, has done that for me before. She's been like, listen, just shut the fuck up and just say you're fucking sorry. And I'm like, really? Have you said know? sorry? I and it's, that only happened <laughs> no. when I was shit faced, and I think then I just kept my mouth shut and was like, yeah, whatever, all right, fine, maybe I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but I'll never admit it. <laughs> She's a bitch though. So. Um, who was um, the other the other girl that was there? The really hot one that was there, Sierra. 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 Yeah. Did was I don't remember a lot of the reunion, but was she sticking up for Hannah at the yeah, reunion was, too? Yeah. She, yeah, she was, How and I thought that, that was weird. Get what? No, they became like butt buddies towards the end of the season. Yeah, What's... it never really showed like how they became such That's good what friends. I mean. They but it just seemed like, like they did. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So yeah, and then I don't know. very interesting. <clears throat> what do you guys think about um, what's his face and how he said he was like, I'm gonna break third wall. Oh, and, Luke. Yeah, the third wall, and I'm gonna like at, like production asked me to ask you to come home with me to meet my family and everyone's sitting there like that's not do you every know that's single person was like Andy Cohen was like that's not true why are you saying maybe, this is not true maybe they because they were obviously drinking so maybe like he, producers were like baiting him a little bit to like do something and he took it that oh. it just I don't know it seemed because everyone was like Luke no yeah not that's true what, and then and then there was just kind of like, and then they moved on. And I was like, wait, I want to go back to that. And then, he immediately, and then he immediately followed Hannah into the dressing room and, and apologized. Like, yeah, and then apologized. we can hang out later. Yeah. Like, what? It was, I don't that know. was such a weird sidebar that they took. And like, it was just like, did that really happen? Luke is I think definitely weird. Oh, uh, the, the times that they sure. would just show him chopping wood in the backyard. And he'd be like what talking to making? himself. We saw wood. nothing. I know. What did he make? True. I think wood to burn. Firewood. I will say though, he's extremely handsome and so i think he probably just does this like to make he's trying to model and he like, was act. in a movie i don't um, even think he's that handsome wait he was in that show the flight attendant yes he was in the very beginning yeah. literally like just dancing with her three words mm-hmm. three words and then he woke up naked in the bed i know i was shocked i was <laughs> did you guys watch that show the flight no. attendant on hbo max no. it's funny it's like a quirky little but yeah luke was in it oh he was like a one night years ago? Like no, no, it um it was like this year. Yeah, it came out like oh, so he must have recently. done it after they filmed Summer House or like right before. Something. Yeah, probably. Did, it, did he have any like before. speaking lines? No, like three did words. Speak- honestly, it was like, like them like, at like, a club and she's like dancing with him. Yeah. And then did they go home? Together? They went home together. And He's then, just like a cameo. Yeah, yeah, and then he woke up and then I just want to know because sometimes when people do, even if they only have a few words, they sound really stupid on shows. Like famous <laughs> people that don't act mm-hmm. and they come onto shows. Yeah, so yeah. So I just want to yeah. know if he sounded like really stupid because I, I think, think he, he sounds sounded stupid attractive. In real life. Yeah, I'll I mean, be honest because then I saw it. Yeah, he's like recognized him because he had his shirt off. As it's hard to remember what people say and what they sound like when their bodies look like that. Did he talk? I don't know. Did he have lines? Maybe. I don't know. Didn't hear him. Um, what do you guys think about Des, her fiance, like watching back this season and like watching their reunions? Like, what, Gross. what do you think? Yeah. Like, was he like, he's well, weird. You were very clearly into this guy. Yeah. Very clearly into this guy. I don't think he cares. He's Luke. like, what, 40 years old? Yeah, I don't freaking know. I don't know. I don't get anything Hannah does. I think she's so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, and I, that's like what I, I like how you really feel. <laughs> I liked her in the beginning. Well, I was team Hannah when like Amanda and Paige were so annoying about her and Luke hooking up last season. Yeah, exactly. And then <laughs> um I started like getting into her podcast recently. Burning in hell. Burning in hell, because I like some of the name. guests she has on. So I started getting into <laughs> it recently. And then <laughs> and now I just hate her and I can't listen to it. I know. You know, when you start like hating someone so much that you're like, oh, did I like her at one point? I can't even remember. Yeah. I'm like, I know I was team Hannah last season, but I don't know if I liked her. 
I just don't. I just hate her. Do you, who do you think she, they're going to get to replace her in Summer House? You think it's going to be the exact same cast and a new person, like a random person? I, I know. I was thinking that, actually. I feel like um, Sierra wouldn't come back, so I feel like they'd replace it with two She didn't people. seem that into it. Yeah, and she also she said her coworkers it. like don't know. She covers her name tag at work because she's a nurse, oh, really? so no one knows. She thinks no one knows. I'm like, people I know. How definitely people watch not know? reality <laughs> TV and see you. I know. Yeah. And, and she and was saying, yeah. she's like, well, because of the pandemic, like I'm completely covered up. But I feel like nurses are like tight. I, I mean, they know your name. Yeah. I know. What? That's like, weird. Your coworkers yeah. know your name. And if Unless they don't, she that's like, weird. Is she a hell. traveling nurse or does she Maybe. work in the same? She said she was a traveling Maybe she nurse. Oh, oh, okay. So oh, that yeah. actually could so, be if she was okay. like brought in too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know. know. I, but mm. I, I feel like she also won't come back. I feel because she was like very like, no, no one really knows about it. I just yeah. got to do this. She was very pro Hannah too. So yeah. So that. do you think they'll get two new people to replace? It would be sick if they brought back um, the crazy workus twin. <gasps> yeah. I, I, I love the workuses. They're yeah. both <laughs> have kids or oh, pregnant shit. now that, though. She got I, married. Yeah, yeah. The so crazy she, one? Yeah, she actually just got married. She's having a baby. Damn it. Yeah. Um, it happened really quickly. And I, so I think Hannah posted something about the workuses on her story about how they used to make bacon or something. And then I was like, oh, I forgot oh, about them. And I bacon. went <laughs> and I went to their stories and I was like, or I went to their Instagrams and I was looking at them. And yeah, they're like, they have like kids. Damn. And stuff like they that would down. that would have been good. I really enjoyed them. Mm. When's the, um, they're doing the ski house though. Oh, um, with, oh, with Southern, Southern Charm. Yeah, yeah Southern so Charm ski. That should be, com- I mean, it, the winter's over, so that has to be coming out soon. Who's yeah. the guy that uh, was a realtor then? Uh, I'm really bad at this stuff. There's Austin and Craig. Um, who are Craig, on it. Craig yeah. and Paige, they already like dropped little fillers. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that <sighs> and then I hope Shep is on. I, I love yeah, Shep, too. Shep. Oh, my God. I know. Is he, I don't think he's going to be. I haven't seen him in any of the like, promos. I, I hope he is. Oh my god! I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to tell you guys. I randomly DM'd him to see if he wanted to come on this podcast. <laughs> the answer? Did he answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we can keep trying. What if I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna come on like next week. <laughs> I don't I think I'd be able you. to do it. <laughs> I, I would be I so just, scared. I mean, did he read it? No. Did he answer? No. <laughs> well, we can keep trying. I'll just keep DMing him. Yeah. I went through a phase in college where I randomly um, <laughs> DM celebrities. <laughs> like I would slide in their DMs. Like, like athletes, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, the only person that ever answered me. You remember Remember that song Ride by Somo? Yeah. He it's a very it? sexual song. Somo <laughs> answered me. And was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hang out. And then I was like, Ashley's like, got pretty weird. Oh my God. I it's um a, he, my friend loves him so much and she always goes up on stage. Or she went up on stage once and he serenaded her. It's the magic with Mike that song, song, right? Um, it's I'm not gonna sing it. it. Yeah. With a me. Yeah. No, that's pretty Ricky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. Wait, well, I don't, uh, I'm gonna have to listen to that song. It, it's a very sexual song. My nail is breaking. With the Ride by who? Um, so, oh. well. um, anyways, they started filming Winter House, but they don't have oh, a set nice. air date. I don't think. Okay. Um, with Sheps, I always, whenever I watch him, attractive, but his pants are always falling down. He has zero butt, so <laughs> oh. his pants are so low. Sorry, I know the song. Um, yeah. Whisper dirty secrets, Alan pulling on your hair. Keep you going. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> we have a singer on Wait, our hands. Who's, um, one I'm time. Gonna ride, I'm going to ride, Yeah. I don't know that song. You what? definitely yeah, you heard you it. I'll listen to it. Maybe I'm a so sorry. My rendition. That was a very good <laughs> my rendition. rendition. You would probably know I, if you heard him sing it. I DM Jay. Jackie Bradley Jr. once because he went to um, <laughs> because he went to South Carolina and played baseball for the Gamecocks and my boyfriend Cam went to South Carolina so I DM'd him was like hey man like how can I get um how can he I get sliding his ones, hey man how can I get one of your college jerseys I want to give it to my boyfriend for Christmas yeah and he just responded lol I have no idea wait <laughs> I, like, and I was like oh you can. I have a hat signed by him. You can give it to Cam. It would have been wicked cool though. Like I thought that would have been a good Christmas present. That would have been a good Christmas yeah. present. Yeah. If only the yeah, athlete would have been a little like, bit more helpful. I know. Like a legitimate like jersey that he wore, like, or just gonna... like a replica of one. It, uh, yeah. If you it have the been, one he wore. That I was kind of hoping he'd be yeah. like, "Oh, I have an extra. I can send it oh, to you. I'll just give you one." <laughs> but it was wicked funny when I saw his response. I was like, "Oh my god!" And then it was just, "LOL." I have no idea. At least he answered. You just saved me a lot of time on the internet. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the dream only... is there still. It can still possibly happen. I know, maybe. So, yeah. If any if any of you listeners out there know where I can find a Jackie Rowley Jr. Gamecocks jersey, <laughs> let me know. One of our 40 listeners. 
hey, we're, we're getting up hey, there. You never oh, know. So oh, that brings me um, just to give a quick little shout out to Kara from FSU. If you're listening, you're awesome. And keep telling your friends about us. <laughs> <laughs> I met her in Florida and she was great. Yeah, Danny met this random girl on a beach. Like who does, I don't like in 2021, like who meets like random people? Well, if you knew. Danny the place that we literally went. Literally makes friends and with Danny's everyone. family. I feel like you yeah. said that you talk to people but... on airplanes. Oh, that's I hate yeah. talking to people on airplanes. I, that's so weird. It would be so <laughs> upset if someone I'd turned to me and tried to have a conversation with me on a plane. No, like, no, 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 no. I don't do that. No, I don't. I'm when, not the one that make that starts the conversation. <laughs> but if somebody talks to me and they seem cool, let me just clarify here. <laughs> so on one of my flights, this woman was sitting next to me and she I had my AirPods and was listening to a podcast, did not want to be spoken to because like the, it was my first flight that after that party that we uh, went they, to. Oh, so I yeah. go to the airport, hung over as shit, and I go <laughs> to sit down at a bar and get a Bloody Mary. And the guy literally walks up to me and goes, hey, just so you know, we don't start ter- serving alcohol till 1030. And it was uh. like 7 a.m. So I was pissed. So I get on this flight, put my AirPods in. Hello, don't talk to me. And the woman next to me says something. So I take my AirPods out and I was like, huh? Excuse me? And she just goes, I really like your nails. Those are cool. How'd you come up with that? And then, oh my God. but she ended up being like a weirdo. So then I just was like, you yeah, think <laughs> and she started my, talking about your, your nails, nails at 7 a.m. on a flight. It was weird. I mean, I, I was flattered. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh my God, yeah, you love your nails. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also annoying because then she tried to keep talking. The guy you're talking about, he was cool because he was like, oh, do you need hand sanitizer? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then it smelled like a good. And I was like, what is that? And then he was like, oh, it's my company. And hello, my friend Justin is starting a company. So like my ears blurped up and I was like, oh, what do you what do you do? And he was like, oh, I just kind of start companies and like invest. And I was like, oh. That's interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. And then it ended with me sharing their contacts. That's nice. That Anything come sense. about with that since the last time you told me? Uh, no, we sent each other NDAs and I'm waiting for him to answer. Well, if you become a millionaire because of me, I want to cut. <laughs> Dana gets half. And I want a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy I met on the plane this past weekend. We were talking and then he did kind of like a weird, definitely like Asperger's type. He was like, we were talking for like a split second, maybe like a minute. And he was like, okay, we can be done. Like, literally, like he was like, okay, I'm all set. Like we can just keep Don't going. Don't feel like we need to keep going. And I was like, hey, that was so nice. I respect then, that. Yeah. And then he, him and his kids ended up moving up to the front. So I got the entire road to myself. Oh, that's sick. So it's even better. But he okay, was like, yeah, great. we don't have to I wish I could end conversations like that. Like, I'm just like, okay, I'm done talking to you. I wish yeah. that wasn't rude. The I, way I to do it. I do that all the time. I feel like the way to do it is to get up and go to the bathroom and then come back and just put your AirPods in. Yeah. So you want to I hate using the bathroom on the airplane though, but I guess it might like, oh, like, like pretend. like it. Really? Oh, I like getting up to go to the bathroom. But everyone's using it. I don't it. like how everyone... And you're going oh, pee but in I like a public, closet. I use public restrooms all the time. And well, I have I mean, no shame. So I, so I don't like public restrooms, but I also like the window seat. So I can never pee on airplanes. Oh, I like the aisle. Because oh, I need the aisle because I get anxiety what? about having to wake people up. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, in case you have to pee. I don't pee on airplanes uh, yeah, in case specifically. I, have to that. That. So I like I, the aisle. Oh, I... I Because I... I mean, I can only... I have to go to pee. I have to go pee at some point. I'm going to have to go pee on this flight because I drink a ton of water on flights. And if I'm drinking like yeah. alcohol, when that was a thing, I'm drinking alcohol, like I'm going to have to pee and I'm going to get, I'm going to sit there and wait till the last possible second. So I don't have to talk to these people yeah. or wake them up or anything. Like yeah. I have my old roommate and my mother. They're both like, if you wake them up, they're going to have a panic attack. So I'm like scarred of waking people up. Like, you wake you up oh, I get it. Like your oh, mom, like, like, like we'll my wake mom. up and like, <gasps> yeah. yes, I would I used to wake her up as a kid and be like, mom, I threw up. And she'd be like, <laughs> and I would be like, oh. <laughs> I, like, I would like, like run out of the room. Like, no. Well, have I'm you ever, have you ever been woken up by someone who needs to go to the bathroom on a plane? I get fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm like, I should know picking the aisle seat. Like that's something you may have to deal with. But if I'm hungover and I'm sleeping in my aisle seat and somebody taps on me to wake me up to go to the bathroom, I'm like, hold it. You selfish <laughs> prick. Like Are you kidding me? Point. I don't care. I make hold a, it. <laughs> I make a point to be very understanding and caring because I get anxiety. I totally act like that. I'm, I'm like, oh my like, God, no problem. I'm like, oh my God, yes. Like, let me, let me get out of the way as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> This is another good point. <laughs> now you're reminding me of all the thoughts I was having on the plane. So I wasn't sleeping, but that woman who was a weirdo sitting, she was sitting in the middle and I'm at the aisle. And then she, I, again, I have my earphones in. So she like taps on me to go to the bathroom and I just moved my legs over 
like to the aisle. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, is that like rude as fuck to just like, ru- like move my legs over? So then I like, t- after I moved my legs over, then I took my seatbelts off and stood up and was like, sorry. I would sorry, say yes, say but only because I don't want to shove my there. ass in I don't know. I would just as I walk by. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, that, move I truly side. don't know what plain like, the etiquette is thing. so weird. Plain etiquette is so weird. I get most so people don't like, have it. it yeah, like, yep. people are rude these days on planes. People are in such a rush. I probably wouldn't think anything of it, but the, since you asked, I would say that you get up. Yeah, but so if it happened in the moment, I'd just be like, "Oh, excuse me." Yeah, I think I would do it and you like did. shove my butt in their face and like. Yeah, yeah. I don't I, know. It's a good. It's a good question. That is a good point. <laughs> Make a mental note, everyone. When you go but airplane etiquette is like really funny. And there was a man who was um whatever we were like waiting for our turn to get off the flight he was in the row in front of me and so he gets up and then this old woman was trying to get her bag out of the overhead and he was like hey are you okay if I help you and she was like love that yeah that would be great and then he was like sorry you know like COVID times and I was like oh that's a good point because no man offered to help me when I was traveling alone and I was kind of like Hey, fuck? nobody ever offers. Chivalry I have dead. literally never had someone offer to pick up my stuff and put it in the overhead bin for me. I think it's because they're tall. Oh, I need to like, True. I need to visibly <laughs> struggle. That's and then, <laughs> and then I like, I think I we can't talked about this yeah. at one point. Yes, because yeah. I get yeah. severe anxiety, like walking onto the plane. I'm like, you can do this. You can do this. Like, <laughs> just go into a really deep squat and throw and then, it up there. And if you have like a backpack or other uh, stuff, I'm like, okay, how am I going to like yeah, position my Yeah, I'm like putting my things. I don't want to actually, when we, when was this? Oh, I was coming back. I went to Mexico like mid pandemic, which don't recommend. And I was coming back. She's and crying. We were so hungover. Andy and I were so hungover getting on the plane. And it was like a wicked. I don't know if it was early flight. I don't fucking know. I had been sleeping. In, oh, we had a layover. I'd been sleeping like on a chair in the airport waiting for it to board this next flight. I'm like waking up so disoriented, so tired, feel horrible. And some man comes up. It's like a tiny plane, two seats oh, in yeah. the aisle. This man comes up to me. I'm sitting on the aisle seat. He has the window seat. He goes, he goes, oh, I'm sitting there. And I was like, okay. So I get up so he can like put up his shit down. And he's like, asked me to hold all of his things. This is mid, like mid COVID. <laughs> asked me to hold like his like wallet, his like <laughs> cell phone, his like what? headphones. I was like, what the his hell is happening? It, like all the belongings. Like, I don't know. He had pockets. I'm not sure. Everything he was <laughs> holding in his hands, he just gave me. I had to, to go both of my hands and spread them out like that. Like put them like okay, that's palms weird. out. Couldn't he like set them in the he seat? He starts giving me all of his personal <laughs> passport, all of his personal <laughs> belongings. And he's sitting on the aisle seat. Like what the hell is happening? I'm like, I, I don't that's know. That's really weird. And, and you then, can't say no. Yeah. Yes. And then he just comes in, gets, takes all of his things back. It absolutely dominates me and oh, takes like the armrest. I'm like, oh. and this is like a big man. And I'm just, he just like, is like planted <laughs> no him full self down and like gave me no Gives personal no space. Fucks. And I was like, this is horrible. I'm like <laughs> literally like sitting on the plane. Like, I don't even, I don't know what's happening to me right now. Am I like, am I on TV? Am I being punked? <laughs> he should have opened his wallet, seen if there's any cash in his <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like, so, you're welcome. Here, you. I'll take yeah, this 20. You. Thanks. I'm like, that's, that's my what you seat. do normally. It's really weird to do during a pandemic. Yeah, COVID. No, it's people very, actually yeah. should. Maybe we should start a segment on this called airplane etiquette. Not that we know anything. Clearly, but we don't know anything. <laughs> and maybe we know more than the guy that handed something. his wallet to Dana. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I hate when I'm next to like a big man, too, because yeah. obviously that sucks for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the planes are tiny, but it's like, c- come on. Can you not be this obnoxious and like literally be taking up? all of my space or there's also it. etiquette for exactly what seat you're sitting in if you have the window seat you specifically get to lean on the, the window yes. you don't the get the middle, armrest the and the middle window is the shittiest seat ever so you get at least like maybe one of the armrests whatever, yes so you're not squished and then the person on the outside gets the left side like the outside you can't take everything if you're no. in the window seat yeah. you yeah. don't get both armrests that's a great rude. point mm-hmm. there I is also, some sort of etiquette i, I know saw, it's just people that are rude i saw a meme and i was dying laughing at it um it was like me sitting in the the seats where they ask you if you're willing to like help others and like oh, jump out of the exit row yes you and say you yes. and like me like three minutes before that couldn't get my bag into the overhead and also couldn't figure out how to like do the seatbelt. Everyone's like, like, Oh God. But yeah, I gotcha. Me confidently nodding my head. Absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 like, no, I'm not, I'm going to be the least help. I'm going to be in the way. I'm going to need someone to take care of me. I'm also going to be screaming. 
if I have the opportunity crying. to pay extra for the exit row, if it's not too expensive, I usually do it. And I've maybe I just had never noticed. I don't know. But on my way home from Florida, again, wicked hungover. So I was sitting in the exit row and the flight attendant, he was like an older man. He was very intimidating. And he came over to ask us all like, so do you all agree that if something happens in the emergency, you all say, and I swear to God, he was giving me like the scariest <laughs> eye contact. So I was like, darting my eyes in other directions. <laughs> and then trouble. every time he was doing like the little like hand motions, he was just staring at me. I swear. Cause I'm, I was like, is, <laughs> is he really staring at me? That it was scary. He was calling you. There out. Was, and I was like, oh shit. No, he's like, you don't look like you could do it. <laughs> I know. I know. He's judging me so hard. I looked like shit on the way home. <laughs> Sir, if this plane goes oh down, I'm going to throw up <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to make a mess and I'm going to need someone to carry me out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I think they're taking that more seriously these days, just so everyone knows. Oh, are they? Or you just took it a little Well, it's probably personal. because, you know, <laughs> listen, this is my theory because COVID. These airlines have lost so much money. They're probably making the planes more shitty. Well, so there's probably going to be more so plane crashes. No, don't don't that. That. Uh, one My. thing, a turbulence, and I'm freaking out. Yeah. And then I look to the, holding onto the armrest, I look to the person to the left oh, of wow. me, and I'm like, please tell me you're on the same page. Please tell me you're on the, <laughs> the same page. The second we hit a bump, flinching. I literally look around, I'm like, I anyone else panicking? So <laughs> How's everyone else feel about this bump? And I'm like, and if no, everyone seems fine. I'm like, okay, we're fine. We're fine. But the second I see someone else, it's like, I'm like, uh, yeah. yeah, me too, buddy. <laughs> me too, we're like, going down. And I'm like, okay. I don't know how to touch the wall. There's a woman on the wing of the plane. There's a colonial woman She's on the wing of the plane. She's in traditional <laughs> colonial currents. Yeah. I actually love this unplanned airplane talk because this is something I think about every time oh, I'm yeah. on a plane. Yeah. And I was thinking, I got to write this stuff down for the pod, but I'm happy it came up. Um, there was one time I was on a <laughs> red eye back from San Francisco with my boss. We had just, we had spent 24, like, when we got in San Francisco, we had to check in for our flight leaving the next day because that's how little time we spent there. We went there for a presentation and just flew oh, back. So, it was like, so we yeah. literally spent like 10 hours there. And so I was so tired. It was like, <laughs> it's horrible. I'm sitting next to my boss, VP of sales. I'm like, this isn't fun. It's a red eye. So we're going to be like trying to sleep on this plane. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. Like, it's just weird. This girl, this fidgety little girl sits down next to me. Not little, like my age. Sits down next to me. I kind of feel bad because she probably just has severe anxiety. She's like Meredith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Meredith. It was probably Meredith. You just yeah, didn't know her. She didn't know who you were. This fidgety little gal. <laughs> they I come over, glitch. do like their exit row spiel. And like, they're like, do you agree? We need like verbal and confirmation whatever i'm like yes i agree i will i will save this plane yes <laughs> and, and the girl goes yes and then she like looks at me afterwards and i look look back at her i'm like what do you want from me <laughs> like we're both saving She's this like, plane you can do it right chick and then she like flags down the flight attendant and was like actually i can't wait she moved <laughs> my god I was like, what people exactly? do that and like we were supposed to take off and flight? they had to find her another seat and find someone willing to switch with her because she was like no I won't. Like, oh, I'd be I'm, so pumped. So they're like, does anybody want this exit row? I'm like, like, I'll do it. They can save the plane. Yeah. They're like, she was having like a pain. Again, I kind of feel bad. She probably has severe anxiety and probably mm. thinks about this a lot. But definitely. <laughs> I also think about it a lot. I'm like, are you, I'm not, I was, are you like anticipating also, this plane going down? I'm why not? did she look at you? Did she expect you to kind of stand up after being like, oh yeah, I can't do this either? Yeah. I was like, okay, bye. I Find definitely, someone else. I definitely would have looked at her and been like, girl, just shut the fuck up. Yeah, be like, just be quiet, all right? I got both of us. If it goes down, why don't you just quit? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll put everyone on my back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I can't lift 20 pounds over my head, but I'll, I got you. I got you, girl. Yeah. I got you, you covered. Just sprint to the, what's the front of the plane called? Where the pilots are? The cockpit. Cockpit. <laughs> you just sprint to the cockpit and then you're like, like oh, I can't. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a five-year-old boy. We're apparently. trying not to swear here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah okay. We did. Okay. We just talk about that for way too long. We got way off topic. Um, let's let's reel it back in. Yeah, we harder. haven't seen each other in a while. So. Yeah. We're all just catching up after our trips. Um, yes, it did start with Hannah Burner and Summer House. Um, in other news, Bachelorette star Caitlin Bristow got engaged to Jason. How do you say his last name? Tar Tardic. 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 Oh, yeah. Tardic. Honestly, I don't think we need to waste much time on this. Like them, love them, great couple. Huge rock. Sick ring. Sick ring. Sick ring. Sick ring. Yeah. I want Huge. that. Yeah. What did you say it's the same as? I think it's a very similar cut to JoJo Fletcher's. JoJo's, yes, mm -hmm. it is. Which I'm like, hmm. But she good ass ring. That? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. But, like, honestly, that's a form of flattery, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want that ring? Yeah. yeah. 
Beautiful. Who wouldn't want to be Jojo Fletcher? Because oh my god, yeah. I like am obsessed with her. Yeah, she. I would she's love to be her friend. Human. Except I don't know if I could be her friend because she's so pretty. I'd Too pretty. Cr- I would oh, definitely, yeah. even with no makeup. I on. would definitely be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be see, you just secretly hate her, but <laughs> actually want to be best friends with her. Yeah, pretty much. She could show me how she does her makeup though and dress me, so that would be nice. I'm always intrigued by the friend Becca. Oh, also, Becca Tilly. Yeah. yeah. She's I always, cool too. Yeah, she's I'm always wicked like, funny. what are you doing with your life? I'm like, please find a husband. Yeah. No, <laughs> she, it seems as if she has a hard time with dating, which I don't really get because she just seems so funny yeah, and, and so easygoing and yeah. so down to earth. Maybe that's why. Cause she's yeah. now like famous. So I feel like famous guys suck. Yeah. You know? And you can't find someone who's just normal. Yeah. Why do they want that? And like her, her like dating like pool is all like Instagram famous people. I would never want to date a guy that's Instagram famous. Oh, no, 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 no. Never. So I maybe that's the problem. Yeah. Can't compare. That's definitely yeah. probably the problem. Yeah. Anyways, um congrats oh, to them. Sorry. The ring is huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Jenny shut that one down. You <laughs> no, well, I was gonna say we haven't even talked about um Ben and Jen. Oh yeah, Benifer is back together. Because oh, remember our what? first oh, podcast? I, about that. I thought we you talked were talking about how about a bachelorette. She sucks. Like, no, no, but remember our first podcast? We were like, wait, did they? Were they dating? Yeah. Did they date? I got so much backlash on that from people who, like, are, my friends who listened and were like, like, as they're listening, texting, like, are you guys fucking serious? Of course they dated, and now they're back together. They were engaged. So we put it out in the universe. It so you're welcome. It seems like a Benjamin. very <laughs> odd combination. I don't care if they used to date. Seeing the two of them together, because all I yeah. can see in my mind is him looking hungover as fuck, standing outside of his apartment, smoking a cigarette. It's like the 21 year old. Is yeah? Is that that's the photo that I have in my head? And yeah. then I see J Lo, and I'm like, huh. No, but Jenna, apparently those two just they've been to get back together for like a month. They were dating or like before so that. They she, must have been. Yeah. There's no way. So fast. And he like she like whipped him into shape. Like apparently now he's like in shape. He's like the second they started dating. He okay, was like, well it's for- only been like a freaking two months, so let's give that some time. Just yeah, well. but I, I mean I love Ben Affleck. I really do. But I mean, come on. They must have been talking for a very Tiger long time. Tiger can't change his stripes. You can't just do I that. also kind of feel bad for A Rod. Like, I think he's a weird person, but yeah. she really did move on real fast. Now, well, if A-Rod, he cheated on her, yeah. then I'm happy. Did he cheat on her? It hasn't been confirmed, but like, With, I don't know. What's her name? Some, uh, Madison. Summer, yeah. uh, no. The girl from Southern Charm. Mad- Madison, Madison LaCroix. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily confirmed actually cheated. by him. It hasn't but been confirmed. He's, he's scummy, so I don't really yeah. fault her. But yeah, also, I loved their family together. They were so really kids. cute. Yeah. They, they so looked like they all went together. It looked so cute. Yeah. yeah. But now it's Jennifer Gardner's kids and Ben Affleck's. And I like Jennifer Gardner yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. She hasn't she hasn't yeah. done much. She's in like weird like credit she card does, commercials. That's she like she does cooking. <laughs> she does like baking skits on her Instagram. She does. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> she <laughs> She's just me. like the cutest mom. She, and she does these cute, cute little like Wait, baking Are they meant skits? to be funny? Yeah. Oh, okay. She's, oh, oh, okay. Well, she's like she's funny. cooking. No, she's cooking something serious, but like they're actually really funny, and she's just cute, and I just love her. Interesting. Nice. Interesting. I'll have to I'll, look that up. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have that. to look no. into that because yeah, she does um Neutrogena. Oh, right? She has yep. like a brand deal with them, so she's probably thing. fucking killing it. And oh yeah, she's she probably to, raking it in and, and gets for, to like spend time with her family, so that's nice. And the what's in your wallet? What's that? that it's oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, that's yeah. so. Oh my god, what card, that, card is that? So Chloe, yeah, Capital One, Capital One, Capital One, Capital One Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Chloe Kardashian is oh, yeah in a oh, medication my god, commercial. Her, her migraine commercials. I'm like, yeah. is it really? Are t- is things really? Are times t- that tough? Yeah. yeah. Wait, I don't have cable. She, I've not seen this. <laughs> Time's she, tough for you too. <laughs> I, just, I just have not had cable for no, like seven I years. I feel like most people in our generation honestly yeah. don't have cable. I just well, love I MTV and Bravo, yeah. and I couldn't find. I have Hulu with live TV, so it has yeah. those these yeah. commercials. Yeah. Yeah, I pay way too much money it's for not. my cable and internet, but I don't care because it's worth it. Um, but yeah, Khloe Kardashian. I actually I really like Khloe Kardashian, but she will do anything for a buck. When I saw her in a medication infomercial, I was like, what? There's no way that you need that. Yeah. Is it good American? That shit's expensive. Is she it not is making expensive. money on that? It is expensive. I, I, I don't know. know. I know clothing has a really high markup rate. It's really hard to start a clothing company. But she's a Kardashian. She can do whatever yeah, she wants. She can <laughs> literally she has, like, millions of dollars on fire and yeah. she'll be fine. She can <laughs> pop her name on fucking Well, anything. clearly not because she's in a... What's it even True. for? It's one migraine? of the migraine okay. things. But also, I tweeted this like a while ago. And I like... Still think it's so weird. Sometimes Chloe will come up on my Twitter like she's selling her old clothes. Oh, they all do that. It's called Kardashian Closet. Yeah. Like why? Closet with a K. Do you really need money? 
I that think they still have their why apps too, don't they? Clothes. Because they can just keep making. That's how they. Why yeah, wouldn't like they? They, they are yeah. the fucking smartest business women ever. And listen, that's a controversial statement I just made. But seriously, like no, they, they are billionaires. Well, Kylie and Kim are now certified billionaires, and they're still selling their clothes to make a buck. Yeah. If I yeah. could afford it's one working. of their garments, I would buy I know. it. <laughs> Do you guys watch um, any YouTubers? Like that YouTuber, Lara Lee. I like her. She's funny. And she does um, reviews where she buys stuff from Kardashian Closet and she like shows it on camera. What happens if you like shrink the clothes? You spent like a thousand dollars on a top and it doesn't even fit you anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I, wouldn't, I would feel weird even wearing it out. I'd be like, I can't wear this out. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. And sometimes like she did some of Kylie's and they came with like dog hair and it was funny because she was Aww. like, I mean, I think this is kind of gross, but like, I bet some people would like this that you can tell it's like been in her house. Like it, that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> they do it on purpose. They plant on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's like not even their real clothes. Yeah. They just like put shit on it. <laughs> but it's hey, really gotta respect the hustle. I'm not making that much money. So they're doing something right yeah. that we are not. But I am happy that they are ending. Keeping up well, with the yeah. chance, though. I'm not. I feel like it I'm not happy, to... but this season is so fucking boring. It is. I yeah. feel like it's gotten a little bit better the past two episodes, like when they showed um, their conversation about ending it. Yeah, I really liked that. And then when they told the production and crew. Yeah. So I thought the last two episodes were kind of good, but. Other cry. than that, it's been boring. Yeah, yeah, it was actually, I cried. It was really sad. <laughs> oh it, my it was God. sad. I like the Kardashians. Oh my God. mom and I have been Danny texting. has a full closet. <laughs> Thursday nights, we love the Kardashians too. We're actually really sad to see it go. However, I have a theory that they're now moving to a streaming service. Oh. I feel like. Oh, no. So I don't think they're actually like quitting, quitting. They might be. I don't know. I just have a theory that they're going to move to like a, I don't like know. Fixer Upper did? Yeah. Well, it's not, totally yeah. not the last we're going to see. I, I no. guarantee oh, Chloe no. will do something sort of spinoff I, Ooh, I want one. Kylie to do a spinoff of her life well did you life watch Kylie, Kylie? Oh, yeah I want like, her to do it again I thought it was so bad I know but I, want I don't her remember to do it, it was a while ago I don't like Kylie I like oh. the Kardashians like I would watch Kendall I would watch Kendall too but yeah Kendall is cool she like likes to be private she's a cool yeah. girl She's such a cool girl. I wish I was a cool girl. Such a cool girl. I think you're cool. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. What about us? (laughs) I think you guys are cool. (laughs) You guys guys aren't as cool as Kendall, but you're cool. I have to take a little pee break, so I'll be back. Thank you for announcing. Not announcing. I should have not announced that. That's okay. We'll take take a break. We can cut it out. We'll take a break. Everyone take a breather. Take a drink. Take a break. Yeah. Can I have another drink? Justin's the only one that brought booze, so. Uh, I have this left. Danny's supposed to be sober. This is what I got this left. This tastes like shit. Hmm. <laughs> we'll give it to Danny. Tastes like shit, but here you go. Yep. Oh, orange flavored, actually. I love orange. Yeah, I do, too. It's like an orange soda. Like shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to open it for her and try it. <laughs> I want to try it. Mm. My neck hurts. All right. Did you make a note? 37 minutes? That's what I just did. Thank you. I'm here to help. I'm going to go lay down. I'm going to go to the hotel. Thank you. I was so nervous in the beginning. <laughs> Everyone is. You're trying to talk. But we're good to go now. Yeah. You're doing great. Is this good? Um, I don't <laughs> think it tastes like shit, but definitely orange. I love orange, orange, though. That's what I said. It's not... <laughs> I don't like that See, at all. I don't think I... I don't <laughs> mind it. It's what even flavor is that? Maybe orange. It's like cardboard flavor. It's not orange. So this is orange juice, clementine juice, and sparkling water. Well, they're lying. Is it the clementine juice that you smell more? Smell. I mean, taste. (laughs) Oh, I don't hate it. See, I don't either. Because it just has a very light flavor. I'm with you. I don't like it. It, This is yours. Oh, I'm buying stocks right now. Crypto. I still got five days to wait till my Bitcoin goes through. Guys, I don't know how to do that. Will someone it's show me It's really how? confusing, but Maury walked me through it. It takes a while. Will you show me how? Ooh, you I'm did. supposedly getting another $1,400 check. Oh, me too. Oh, my yeah. God. Did that go When I got my tax returns, I got so much fucking extra stimulus money. Oh, really? Because apparently they, like, didn't give me a few <clears throat> checks. So it's just I didn't I got even know. Mine. I got, um, I wait, will, that's heavenly. the new one. We also get money back if you filed oh, your tax returns yeah. correctly and, like, I did. You're on unemployment. Oh, I think they told me that I don't qualify for that. I got a letter in the mail. Oh, I qualified. 
that's sick. They haven't sent them out yet. They're sending them out the middle of May. So soon. Maybe, hopefully. maybe, I don't know. I also got it. It was like payday. So every like payday. Everything came in First together. thing I do at like 6 30 in the morning, I go on and I check my bank account because it makes me so happy. Do you get paid weekly or bi weekly? Bi weekly, which <sighs> is so annoying. But, um, and maybe then too. my tax returns went through the same day. And literally, I was like, <laughs> that's the most money I've ever seen. Babe, my we're going account. away for the weekend. <laughs> I spent it very quickly. Yeah, no, you changed your flight while we were at oh, yeah, the literally. house for literally like six hundred dollars. I was like, whatever. I got my tax returns. That was crazy. Um, Danny, can you uh, try that drink for us? Mm-hmm. Nobody tried it. No, Is it because I said I have COVID? No, we, no, all, we, tried we all tried it. it. Two for two. We'll have a split right down the middle. <laughs> he doesn't like it. We're 50 50. On- I was literally just about to say, first initial thought was, ooh. And then I went, ooh. ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't taste good. good. It's the aftertaste. But does funky. it taste like orange or does it not taste no, like orange? It doesn't I taste think like it orange. tastes like orange. Okay, that's, like the, orange. that's the debate. Maybe yeah. we have COVID. Yeah, it tastes so- like the peel of an orange, like the wine. Yeah. Like, it's, like the orange wine. I, I just don't like that after. Well, they Danny, started off well, right. That's all you get. You got a chug. I would say Probably. I'd switch with you, but I don't That's know if I want weird. that. weird. It thing. definitely tastes, I just saw orange vodka. It definitely tastes like vodka-y. Mm. I love vodka, so I'm I didn't good like that, that at all. I call the, um, what is it? Uh, I'm doing a Danny, because I would buy green juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm pulling a Danny. And then when I started I getting into Bloody that. Mary's, I was like, <laughs> I'm pulling a Danny. <laughs> I did at dinner when I was home. We went I to like the, that, Meredith. We went out for dinner, <laughs> and I ordered a, I was like, can I get a Grey Goose and soda? And my dad was like, who the fuck Splash you think we're at And I was like, no, dad. <laughs> I know. I went, I went out to dinner with my parents in Florida. I told them, because where we stayed was like, it's very like rural Florida, so there's not like nice places really. So we were picking my sister and her boyfriend up in Tallahassee. At the airport, and I was like, all right, so that night that we go there, I'm going to treat you guys to dinner, because like I didn't pay for anything the whole week I was there with my parents. They were awesome. So I picked literally the bougiest place that Tallahassee has to offer, and I told my mom, I was like, mom, I'm going to pick this place. Like, Don't tell dad it's wicked bougie, because my dad gets so uncomfortable in like <laughs> fancy restaurants. He was legitimately twitching. Oh, like, no. the restaurant, was it that, was it like fancy? Yeah, it was, it was, um, fancy? oh, I wish I could remember the name of it, because it was like a new restaurant in Tallahassee. Um, so if like you're from around there, uh, <laughs> I, all of our listeners oh, out called, there, all yeah, of our the listeners in hey, Cara, <laughs> hey, Cara has some Florida state girls listening. Okay. So it was, um, it was called Saver. Saver with an O U R. Why am I just thinking of Saber from the office? Because their home office was in Tallahassee. Also. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, it has nothing to do with that. But anyway, that's all I can think yeah. of. <laughs> the whole point of my story was that I ordered a Grey Goose soda. My dad was like, What the fuck have you become? <laughs> <laughs> so isn't that what you always get? Yeah, but not around my dad. Uh, okay. so and my we were dad like, at this restaurant. We are the <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It was really funny. He was <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did we create? <laughs> <laughs> It's called a Danny. I think our dads yeah. would get along so well. It's like it's called tax returns, dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah, what else do we got? Let's jump back into it. News that I just recently learned had no idea. Ariana Grande got married over the weekend yes. to Dalton Gomez, a private ceremony in the backyard of her Montecito home. The couple announced the relationship last May and had only been engaged for five months and oh, just got last married. Last May. I have not heard of this. I didn't, didn't even anybody. know she was engaged. I didn't either. I was going to ask you. This that. is like, how long do we, what are we, should we want to make a bet? How long is she going to be married Yeah, what, do, what does everybody think? How long will this last? Let's do Let's over or under a year. I say under over. a year. I say under a year. Under a year. Yeah. All right, well. I just look at her on Instagram. She didn't post anything. There's nothing. He doesn't exist. He's a real estate agent. Well, it was private. They probably don't have photos well, of it. Well, that's yeah. good. Well, then maybe Out since the he's line not, line. yeah, maybe it will then. Maybe that's what she needs. She's been engaged. Three twice now, three times. Was oh, yeah. she engaged was she before engaged to Mac Miller? Or was she not? She was just dating. I don't, no, think, she was I don't think they were engaged. She but was engaged Pete to Davidson. Pete, yeah. yeah, I don't think it. You want to know a fun was. fact of their family that I know? So I'm a big Big Brother human, and I know I'm obsessed with her uh, brother because he literally made it to like the final oh, three, final four. Frankie, yeah, he made it on Big Brother, and I was like, who the hell is this guy? And he held the entire secret that like he didn't know Ariana Grande at all until the end. Are you People serious? Out. Yeah. And then he didn't win because he was going to give him money. Like, he's Wait, oh, wow. Like, That's yeah. how her brother became famous. With Big Brother, yeah. I Because I know, I know who he is. I've like seen him on random things. That's hilarious. Yeah. I never knew that. I literally, because I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really follow Ariana Grande that much. And then I started stalking him because whenever I'm watching things, I just stalk people. Me too. And then I landed on her again and I was like, oh my God, yeah. Okay, this all 
connecting full circle. But that's, that's great. A fun fact. Yeah, he's like a backup dancer or he does like Broadway. Isn't that yeah. um, interesting human? I but have never was, seen this man before in my life. He was funny. And I will say for the Big Brother fans out there that he played the game pretty well. Wait, Meredith, because I've never watched Big Brother. The whole point is lying. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I can't even get I also it. I, yeah. So around. the whole point of the game is obviously to win, but you're stuck in a house with like 12, 12 other humans, maybe 14, and you have to make it to the final two. And then the house votes on who wins. Um, it's insane. So they play different games throughout their like duration in the home. And then you can win like head of household. You can win these like veto games. It's crazy. But so what are, are they, they lie like, about? lying about themselves who they are? They, they get to choose. So they can either lie about everything or Ooh. they can kind of do snippets. Have circle? I, it is basically I the tried. circle. Yeah. Oh, it's it was a similar. little too much for me. Like, I don't know. I couldn't get into it, but I also didn't give it a chance. So I could try. Nothing it can compare the to the same Brother, except though. they're not. Yeah. They don't do it in yeah. person. I feel like it would be way more difficult so, like yeah. in person. The whole... So, I just it's so confusing because there's literally three episodes a week. So there's a Sunday oh. episode, there's a win, there's a Tuesday oh. episode, a and a Wednesday. So you have to like, yeah, you have to like be involved. And That's a commitment. Just, yeah, it's a huge commitment, well, but it's so interesting. And but the reason now that I'm interested is because the challenge has now brought in Big Brother people. Oh, seriously! And all the challengers are always Fessy like, was on there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and all the challengers always say not to trust anyone from Big Brother. No, because you can lie so easily, but also oh they. God. So the whole point of the game too is because you're locked in a house house um with each other so it's like you're just re like playing the game in your head and like playing like five steps ahead of people or you could be playing one step ahead you have no idea Ugh. so they could yeah it's crazy and then they change it's kind of like survivor i'm also a survivor fan but. i would never want I to meet anyone i am such that. a bad liar number one and yeah. i also have the memory of like a goldfish that yeah. i would just <laughs> forget Nothing. and i would make up all these lies about myself and then like but everyone would be make like, it because people would be like oh she actually like sounds truthful like i think i can trust her but then you forget <laughs> all your lies and then you're yeah, just yeah, like yeah, i would forget. just confuse yeah. myself and they'd be like you just told me something different like Yes, you would forget who you yeah. told what. I would be to. exposed but, very quickly, yeah. and they'd be like, "This girl's a really just really bad liar." Anyone who ever goes on that's a police officer or detective always lies because you cannot trust the police officers mm. at all or detectives. <laughs> There's just no way. Pat McLeod, you can't win. So. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. Sorry, Pat. Speaking of, I thought I saw him today, and as I was going around the roundabout, there was a cop, and it looked like oh, him. Oh, really? I was waving like crazy out the window, and then I was like, "Oh, fuck, that's not him." <laughs> uh, I did the, the other day. I was wave. walking with oh, my dog, and someone waved. And they, I waved and they weren't waving at me. Oh. They literally go, not you. And I was like, okay. Oh. <laughs> you could have just pretended. That there was rude. Yeah, I was like, there's no one else around. Well, there was yeah. uh, there was someone behind me. <laughs> and they literally said, not you. They, yeah, they were like, just oh, said, oh, no. They were like, oh, not you. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> just like that's like, so sad. To my dog, I was like, can you believe that just happened to us? <laughs> Did it make you feel better, though? Because then you're like, oh, I don't need to pretend that I know this human. Uh, no, I felt very embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really embarrassing. <laughs> like, no, I went and curled up no. in a ball and cried. Hey, I thought of I still think about it. This was weeks ago. I'm still thinking about it. I've been on both ends of that. But one time I was waving to someone and a person thought I was waving to them. Mm -hmm. And I, like, felt so. But I, like, started dying laughing, which is like, oh, no. Like, sorry. Oh. I, over there. And I was like, but hey. <laughs> It's like so. Yeah, I feel like you just continue to wave and you smile. That's like, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, he made it clear to me it was not me. He was waving at. I was like, okay, that's like that's one of the so worst. Awkward. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I hate awkward encounters. Yeah. Like, so that's how this day's going. Oh, good. I have, I have had now. So oh my god. Oh, because Cam and I moved into our house in September. And honestly, I think like because of COVID, we just haven't really met any of our neighbors, but well, he has. So he keeps talking about our neighbors and I'm like, I, every time I'm outside, like no one's out there, whatever. But sorry, let me backtrack a little bit. When we, it was the first week that we were living there and I was in the driveway getting out of my car and I saw our neighbor like right next door mowing the lawn. So I was like, oh do I have to go over and introduce myself? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to do it. So I go over and he's mowing his lawn. So he doesn't hear me. <laughs> so I just screaming? stood like, there. Hey, hey, hey to be so that started the encounter off. So I like, I'm standing there until I finally like got his attention. And then I'm just like, hi, I'm Danny. Then he yeah, had to like turn his mower in. off and come say hi. Oh my God. Yes. It makes me cringe all over again. <laughs> Wait, was and he then, wicked nice? Yeah, he was obviously wicked nice. But so I just was like, hi, like I haven't met you yet. I'm Danny. Yeah, we moved in. And then he's like, oh, you know, being so nice, like telling me places we need to go. And if you need anything. And I'm like, oh yeah, this was right before Labor Day. And we were having a housewarming party. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh yeah. Oh, so we're actually having some of our friends over this weekend. <laughs> Uh, we'll be good <laughs> and he was like we were not good so like the look he gave me <laughs> yeah. was like 
sheer confusion yeah, and basically like, just like why are you I telling me don't give a fuck <laughs> I like don't what care. you do in your house and then i just was like okay oh it's really nice to meet you, you gotta go Some and then like 30 and then i finally so now this is months later i met his wife the other day same thing she was doing yard work oh. so i was like i'm just gonna do it whatever so i go over she's so nice and then i was like i actually am kind of in a rush i gotta go and she was like <laughs> Oh, okay. So she's probably like, why did Bye. you come over here and start talking <laughs> to know. me if you're in a rush? I'm like, I think so you should bring weird. them some beer. Be like, hey, I'm so sorry they for actually, every awkward situation. Here's they, a 30 rack. They brought us a six pack last night, actually, oh, as a couple. Cute. Yeah. Oh, six pack, so it's they nice. They probably want to hang out with you guys because we've yeah, had so much I know. fun over there. They see us all the time. Well, and oh, she, it's the house. Literally, you look over and there's their porch. Yes. They're having a birthday party. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Yeah, they're super nice and they're yeah. like a married couple and they have no kids. And she asked if I wanted to golf with her. And Alyssa, remember, you said you would do it with me. Oh, yeah. Because she was like, oh my God, yeah, me and my friends go golfing all the time. Like, we suck. We the play nine league. holes and they then we drink. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, actually, yeah. But anyway, the whole point of that was that I'm like the most awkward person ever. And it was really fucking embarrassing. And they probably love Cam and think I'm wicked weird. I totally forgot. This just reminded me. I had a really awkward encounter at a bar this weekend like talking about like <clears throat> i was thinking how today how like all the covid restrictions are coming up they're like being left in i'm like i'm not like ready to re-enter society oh maybe that's and why. if anything like like th my weekend proved it like <laughs> i went we went to a bar to watch the bruins a bar we have been to several times one of our best friends works there what wait bar? what's the bar uh the shanty in quincy oh, okay. oh i love the shanty so, i've been there so many like can't even tell you how many times i had had a couple tequila sodas uh -oh. nothing crazy and so I'm like, go, go to go to the bathroom. And there are separate, obviously, men's and women's rooms. And there's a guy standing there waiting outside to go to the bathroom. I just stand behind him as if I'm in line behind him. Even though the woman's room is completely open. Like, the door is open. The lights are on. Aww. And I'm just sitting there minding my business. Well, you were trying not to assume his gender. And that was why, very PC of you. When a guy walks by, I think they thought I... I had a different gender. Because <laughs> you're guy, in the men's room. Everybody's just trying not to sue each other's gender. One, one guy walks by and goes, the women's bathroom's right there. I, the separate guy, turned to the guy in line and go, are you in line? He goes, for the men's room, yes. And I go, oh yeah, ha ha. And I ran to the bathroom, close the door, look in the mirror like, what the fuck just happened to you? There's no, like, there's no worse feeling. Are, like, I was like, my brain just broke. Like, <laughs> Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like always awkward, but especially <laughs> sometimes when I'm drinking, if I'm like not in the right, like state of mind mood, like, I don't know. And I have a couple drinks. My awkward level goes up oh like a God. thousand. Yeah. Oy. And I'm like, I'm like clearly need like a social class before I like re-enter society. Cause like, <laughs> I don't know how to do it anymore. Like I'm actually happy that you just mentioned that because now that gives me kind of an excuse. I didn't think of that, that like we haven't really been out yeah. in public, like socializing with people other than our own core group of friends. I mean, I work with the public every day, so I should be able <laughs> I don't think you have an to excuse. I still even feel like I can't make like a conversation with people. Sometimes they'll like make a joke and I like should have a witty comeback. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. like my brain is literally blank right now i'm like i don't know how to make a conversation right now i hope i hope other people feel this way because oh well, we've got two weeks to work on our social skills before yeah. everything reopens I well, so everything two weeks open? to lose 10 pounds and become right. a more social human being and <laughs> wait but what what's actually i i woke up yeah. this morning and my coworker texted me the link to this and i'm like I'm not buying this. It doesn't make sense. It's based on like specific areas, but also like does it's, open mean like we can all like bundle up. He at a said bar, Charlie like, Baker. Can we do yeah, there says Charlie That's Baker like. is lifting all COVID restrictions in Massachusetts, including the mask mandate in places, or is it based on like businesses? So, so that means any every, bar. So, so you know what? Everyone, every private their, business can make up their own rules. They right. can refuse entry to anybody or say, We need you to sit six feet apart. We're keeping all the COVID restrictions okay. in this bar. The only thing is bars aren't going to want to do that because the people mm. people are going to want to go to the bars where there are no restrictions right yeah so totally. which makes sense it, they're most likely the yeah. bars will be lifting those restrictions number one for capacity reasons so they can s let more people in yeah, sell money. more things like that i just and don't live music i just want the live music yeah. back so badly but after a year and a half of such strict rules he just comes out today just and says on. in two weeks 
everything's lifted. Like I'm. Um, it's because it'd be past like a certain threshold of people getting the yeah. vaccine. Okay. Vaccine and there were zero deaths like a cut like last yeah. week or something. And it just seems yeah. weird to me. I've had yeah. so many people already coming into my office with no mask, no fucks given. Really? Oh yeah. And they go, I'm vaccinated. And we're like, hmm. State of Massachusetts hasn't actually said that that's okay <laughs> yet. So, yeah. but they've, saying. I had Target two people today argue their mask mandate. Really? Oh. Yeah. Where have I been? What is, wait, I was on I the news. Not, we all. can't like go to Target here without a mask. It was on the, it was on MSNBC, right? That, that means every location would need to, unless it's a franchise. So if it's a franchise public. Well, maybe now that, owned. I don't know. I'm just confused. That. I like was so confused when I woke up this morning. I'm like, there's no way that that's true, but. I'm going to act we'll like see. that though. We're going to treat it that way. That he's I know. Just rid of everything. Well, I'm wondering if at my work, I'm going to be able to not wear a mask anymore. I don't know. I don't I know. I feel like you're in very close quarters. Your office might still require it. Yeah. Who knows though? Things yeah. sanitize yeah. like everything. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, it's so annoying actually, but it's good. We do that anyway, but people are just so annoying. Oh no, yeah. I, I, <laughs> so I feel like I honestly, mean, I might keep wearing a mask just so I don't have to deal with annoying ass people. And then you can also hide your expression. You so already have the yeah. yeah. annoying ass people. Why to. add that to it? Yeah. yeah. I need to learn to not have I should that. probably cut that part out. Outward riching. <laughs> my coworkers listen yeah. to this and my manager. So Justin, we're going to have to edit that. <laughs> I just got nervous. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be shit talking my work. Danny's work is exceptional. I did my first treatment of do armpit laser and it's exceptional. Yeah. Okay. Hit her so up. Now let's back to it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking back to that tea time. So Actually, crazy. you and Alyssa should book a tea time. Is there a course down in Plymouth or the Cape and then show up at the house? Be like, hey, this is the tea time next Saturday. Oh, my be God. There. Fun. And oh, wait, no, wait, there's no plans. Wait, wait what are you talking about? <laughs> you should book a tea time for your neighbor. I was just thinking. Oh, I know. No, I really. She, so they dropped off um, a six pack last night. Like it, yeah. it was so cute in a gift bag with a thank you card because. They were doing something electrically, so they asked us to turn our breakers off. Not a big deal at all. And they came over with a thank you present. They're so cute. But she left her phone number on it. Aww. Shoot her a text. And I was like, oh, my God, I should just text. I mean, I could go over, I guess, if I was, like, really trying to be neighborly. Uh, but I would At this point, first. I would just go with a text. The last two encounters haven't gone very well. I'm trying to redeem myself. Just you can redeem yourself by texting and just live through a like screen. Start like a I'm better. Yeah. I'm better behind a screen. I need to live through a screen for a little bit longer. God. Oh my god, I'm. You're fine. They probably literally didn't even think about it. Mm. Mm-hmm. I would do the same thing though. I would yeah. think. Yeah. Yep. But I know. Uh, yeah. If you would really come with me, oh, fun. I would do that. I do would a do quad. It. You guys Wait, can put four in a car. Is she? Yeah. Uh, is she good at golfing? No, she said they all suck. I really hope so because I can't hit a ball. They, but so I feel like, like people who say they suck, like actually, they're not are, actually bad. But it's fine. We're young. But you if know? you and I you go together, get a ten- tennis then that's fine. Exactly. Okay. I can't go by myself okay. and be bad. Yeah. 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 But it also, if it goes poorly and you've had these two awkward encounters, you just can never talk to these people ever again. <laughs> I know. I'll have to move. <laughs> yeah. We're putting the fucking house up for sale. I ruined <laughs> Gotta it. Gotta go. I ruined it. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> or I like get too drunk and like act like, like a third crazy person. The charm, we're done. <laughs> you should make Cam hang out with the husband, and then you guys come back and you're all just ready to ready to go. <laughs> Late night. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I get nervous about like making friends with neighbors because then it's like, what if they're actually weird? Did you guys or, watch Friends? No. Never mind. Oh, the show. Wait, friends? Friends? Yeah. Friends? yeah. 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 Yes. I was going to make a reference when like Phoebe and uh, Rachel go out and they leave Ross and what's his name. Oh, and they don't and they know how like, to can't talk. talk to yeah. Each other. It's <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. Yeah, probably. The girls um, go out and the boys are just sitting there like, hey. To uh, get back into like the premise of our show. What about Matthew Perry and that young girl? What? Like, Matthew Perry, who played um, yeah. Chandler. What yeah. happened? So he was like on Raya, the dating app that's for famous people. Yep. And I guess he was like talking to some really young girl, like a, I don't know, like a 19 year old TikToker. Uh, and then she like blew up his spot and went on the internet and was like, these older men in Hollywood try to take advantage of us young girls. One, you're 19, oh, it's legal. And two, you probably started the conversation. She with definitely us. did it for clothes. So yeah, she did it for attention. Yeah. That's but, sad. um, but so that, but I feel, I, I, well, I don't know if I feel bad, but. I haven't really looked that much into it. I probably should have done more research, but it was just, then it was all over. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear about that. I feel bad. When was know. it? Was it like two weeks ago? Yeah, it was, it was like pretty recent, but yeah. they talked about it on like chicks in the office. It's been all over my Instagram. So, huh. um, 
something else I saw about Friends today. You know how they're doing the Friends reunion? Uh-huh. They're coming back as the as their themselves. They're not coming back as their characters. Like they're Wait, coming what? back Wait, as Jennifer t- Aniston, David Schwimmer, Courtney Cox. So is it going to be reality? Is it, yeah, is it I don't know. It just like says banter? that they won't be playing their old characters. They're coming back as like themselves. And I'll, that makes I don't know what's the point. It. Yeah, what's the point? Wait, because then we get to find out like, oh, how are the twins? How is like everyone's livelihood? Is Ross and Rachel like dating? Yeah, like, but like now not. Sad. Now, yeah. Hmm. That's really weird. Not going to continue. I cried at that finale. Oh, yeah. That oh, one, yeah. I bawled my eyes out. That one. And never, on the yeah. first strings. never got sure. into friends. Oh, I love friends. Mm-hmm. It was I love yeah. it. skipping. It's a nice show that you can skip and choose, but it's on some other streaming service. Cause it's not on Netflix it's on anymore. Like Peacock. Oh yeah. Peacock. Peacock? Yeah. yeah. So I noticed on, um, your guys, Alex interview that he doesn't keep up with the current seasons of below deck. No, I found that interesting. He doesn't like, he doesn't keep up with the current seasons of below deck. He also doesn't like sp- being on a boat and sailing. And I'm like, I what? loved, okay. So I no wrong profession. Oh I like good. loved your guys episode with him. And I was so sad listening to it because I met, as you guys know, like I meant to come up with questions and call in, but the thing just didn't Danny go. got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I was so annoyed cause he was bringing up so many things. Like he, like his laser hair removal experience, like, hello, I only do that for a living. And I was like, Oh, oh. Wait, so actually answer that question for us. Can you fade with a laser or mm-hmm. no? Yeah. That's what we thought. I mean, you That's could. more of a spot treatment. Do. Do where did he get in? His whole like back. Like his back. <laughs> and but then it he cuts would... off like right at where his pants are. So like it's just like a stark line. Yeah. Oh. Did you not listen to our podcast, Meredith? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's <laughs> hot. And then a phone call came in at work. Oh. <laughs> take it. In the last In the last week. You've had phone calls. <laughs> hey, I was drinking a North Carolina. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it. Yeah, it, it creates a stark line, which sucks. I know. I was like, oh, he yeah. probably just shouldn't have done it. To be laser honest, hurts. But. Danny saw my baby phase of yes. like I can't do pain, and I wanted to cry. No, yeah, I don't think I could ever get anything laser. Oh my god, you it shut, definitely it does, work, does hurt. But. but I there's different lasers that people say don't hurt, but they always come to us afterwards because they're like it didn't work and then i they're literally they're, they're like oh yeah i got laser before all my hair is growing back so then i laser them and they're like ah, this hurts the last time it didn't hurt this bad and i'm like well it didn't work the last time so, danny whips out the gun when i was laying there and she just goes poof, poof, right against the wall and i was like whoa, whoa <laughs> what did i just walk whoa. into and alex got his entire back so that must have hurt yeah the guys who do their backs are always the biggest babies yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should. should I should have been a fly on the wall for that because oh he is kind God. of a macho man. That would have been. Well, he. Hilarious. I feel like he went somewhere that probably didn't hurt. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. The line was pretty yeah. stark. <laughs> it yeah. looks like it took it off. I feel like our lasers are like kind of old in my work, so I don't know. But... Do you want to cut that Let's part out too? <laughs> yeah. Why do I keep talking? <laughs> I don't. What else did you have? There was Alex Radcliffe. There was another thing that you wanted to. Oh, silent meetings or something. Oh. You want to talk about silent meetings? um, What I wanted to talk about (laughs) was, um, do you guys think it would be a good idea if places like when you schedule your hair appointment, you can, you can request a silent appointment? Yes. 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 (laughs) Okay. So it was brought up on the, I don't get it podcast. And one of them, one of the girls is a hairdresser. So she said it like, she was like, yeah, I would do it every time. And I'm like, I would do it every single time. And as the person, like I'm an esthetician. So as the person who does a job, sometimes I, it's really hard to figure out if a person wants to talk or not. So it would be really helpful on both ends. Like if, if I knew, oh, this person did a yeah. silent one, I, I, I don't yeah. need to talk. Because it's so awkward sometimes. I'll just be like, I come up with small talk, you know. But then it's and such a waste of time because you don't even like it doesn't even mean anything. And then right. you leave and you're like, oh, well, I'm some exhausted. of them it does. I I've, some people are wicked cool, but other people are like, I feel like it's up to the patron to talk first. If you t- if you start talking, you're OK with the conversation. You don't. But if you don't talk, OK, she doesn't want to talk. Yeah, true. I true. love getting my nails done because those bitches don't ever talk. They're yeah, they don't <laughs> ever talk. It's the most awkward. You're but just they, they're not at you. They talk about yeah, what you. They just talk about oh, yeah. you no, but you know there. what sucks? If you do start off your relationship with a nail girl, chit chatting, talking, yeah. talking, talking, then every time you go to that yeah. same person, you have to keep the conversation. It's like, oh no. I actually have a question about this about nail etiquette. So I, when I get a pedicure, I put my headphones in. And yes. I listen to a podcast. Yeah. But when I get my knit, my hands done, I think it's rude. 
Yeah, totally. So is that like more correct? Close, I guess. Like I think you're yeah. facing them. It's the same thing. Like I don't talk to them. They don't talk to me when I'm getting my nails, and so I'm sitting there in silence. I'm like, I kind of wish I was listening to a podcast right now. Yeah. But my feet, I don't know. Like they. No, I know exactly what you mean. It's weird. Like it's the same amount of talking. They ask me the same questions. Like. True. Is it, I is think the water it's too to hot. Either. Do you like want your making... toenails cut? Like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell do you think I'm here? No, I'm growing them out. I feel like it's because you're making. Actually, I want contact. acrylics on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <my toenails. laughs> and then that's that's it. Yeah. And they're like, "Do you like the color?" It's like, "Yes, I picked it." And <laughs> I feel like they never yeah. ask me that. Oh actually. my god, they always ask me. They're like, they do. "Do you like it?" I'm like, you're on your big no. toe, and then they're like, "Do you like?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, I literally go into the nail salon and ask for the color by name, and they're like, "Do you like it?" I like. Oh, see, I respect that because I have cha- they have put it on before, and I've been like, "Ooh, actually, no, can I change it?" I you're halfway through, and you're like, "I was gel." <laughs> I got my nails done, and the woman, I was like, "Can I have bubble bath by OPI?" Oh yeah, and the woman was like, "Oh, that's like clear pink," and I was like, "Yep," and she was like, "Do you want a different one?" I was like, "Nope, can I have bubble bath by OPI?" She goes, "But it's like," cl-. I was like, "Yep." Oh my god! She's like, do you still want it? And I was like. Yes, I do. Please, I'll go Give find me it. Bubble just, tell me, just tell me where it is. I'll go get it. And then as she puts it on like my fingers. She goes, "Do you like it?" I'm like, "Yes, yes, I love it." I can't tell you how much I love this nail color. I love it. Did you ever go back to that place? Yeah, it's like no. right below my apartment complex. Like I literally have no choice. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep getting bubble bath just to prove a point. I'm gonna, get that for, I'm gonna get it for a full year just I so had, she knows how much I love this color. There was I went through a phase with bubble bath, and there was a place the nail salon I go to now. I, I'm obsessed with, and I love all the people that work there. They're like really great, and they're super friendly. But there was a nail salon that opened near my parents' house when I lived there, and some of them were nice. Some of them were not. There was this one girl that was a bitch. And every time I would go, if I got put, like put with her, I was always like, mm. and I got bubble bath one time and I asked her to do a third coat because yep. I like three coats of As bubble bath. Like I know what I like, whatever. And she like fought me tooth and nail for three coats. She was like, it's a translucent color. Like and I was pink. like, yeah, I know, but I like three coats because I'm like, you can't see the white of my nails as much. And she was like, no, you're still going to be able to. She just like didn't want to do three coats and it was so awkward. And what did I do? I'm so awkward. I was like, OK, no problem. And you <laughs> so I just like, two I coats and I was like, this. what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a nail etiquette kit is really weird. It is weird. But going back, back to the silent meetings, though. Oh, yeah. Yes. Those 100%. Would be great. Even like the Ubers, cool. they give you that option if you want to get in an Uber and not talk to them. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Actually, it might, it might be yep. like Uber blacks. I don't, I don't, I don't sound bougie, that. but I feel like it's only the Uber No, I Uber feel blacks. like for a while it was every, because I did it before on my way to the airport. Yeah. And I was like, I don't give a fuck if this is rude. I'm doing it. And it was like 4 a.m. Because there's nothing worse when no. you're, it's like four o'clock in the morning, you're going somewhere tired, and like yeah. the person's trying to talk to you. It's like, Lee, come on. I man. also hate Uber conversation because it's like. Okay, how long have you been doing Uber? Like, <laughs> if I'm drunk, I love it. Stu- like, how long have you been driving? Are you busy tonight? <laughs> it's always the same. Topic. Have you been busy during COVID? Oh. They get that same. They probably drive like 50, probably more people a night. Exact same conversation. Exact same conversation every single time. I bet yeah. if they could choose to not talk to you, they would. I think yeah. some of them like it. I talk to all my Uber drivers. Oh, do you think I'm the worst? Yes. Because yes. yes. they don't actually want to talk to you Stop at all. Stop doing that. I don't <laughs> maybe, agree with maybe, this. Maybe. I just am not a talkative mood right now. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Very negative. No, I feel it out. Yeah, yeah, I would just. Say oh, stop. and every single one wants to talk to you. Like when I'm like 20 vodka sodas deep, going bar to bar, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, how long have you been driving? So, Danny, when you brought up silent appointment before, you said this like, what did we all think about it, or what in our head, what was a silent appointment? I oh. literally thought it was a black room. You sit in there with like a therapist or something. <laughs> I no one was talking. Yeah, okay. no one talked. I also yeah. didn't know that's what it was. I yeah. thought it was when, like, you know, when you have a best friend and you can sit in the same room and you guys don't have to talk, but you're still together with someone yeah. you're alone together yes, yes. I and I crave that sometimes yeah. so much like a girl I used to live with for six years and like we could just sit like she, I went to go visit it's her in Florida awkward. and she was like mm-hmm. I because she is in med school in Florida shout out Erin Duffy <laughs> being a doctor and oh, good for you, so Aaron. she's like meeting all these new people and so she has to like talk Ugh. like she just like has to make conversation with all these new people and like blah blah, blah. she's like I just can't wait for you to get here so we can just sit in silence yes, and just I can talk. be That's together with someone. That's what I thought a silent appointment was. Oh, no. Yeah. For, for context, because people listening aren't going to know what we're talking about. I had 
mentioned before that that was something I wanted to talk about. And they were like, tell us what it means. And I said, I'm saving it. And I so, thought it was yeah. like when your watch tells you to like breathe, like take him one minute to breathe. Like a silent appointment was just, was just like sit in silence and think about your <laughs> oh, life. See, we all thought it was something different. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. what I think you. And yeah. none of us knew what yeah. it was. Yeah. I'm also, I'm just like in a weird mood today. So I yeah. don't know. Did you wish that this was a silent appointment today? Kind of. <laughs> I came on a podcast in silence. I'm not going to lie. When I got the text this morning, I was like, fuck. Danny, you texted me to come. Because <laughs> Molly faked sick. Molly is sick. sick. <laughs> I know. Asterisk. Well, like last week, literally, did anybody notice that last week when Alyssa was still in Nebraska, I was kind of, um, it was like that Monday. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, is she going to text? about it yeah. tonight because I was in the same state of mind last Monday. I was going to do it last Monday and then my flight got delayed for like <laughs> know, 48 was, fucking hours. I was in the airport. I was like, all right, never mind. I'm yeah. kind of excited. We're done. I also, Maybe I'm just an alcoholic. <laughs> I need to stop drinking. We're about to enter summer, so I think that's the worst time. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sober. It is hot in here. <laughs> all right. Um, was that... Yeah, that's we, all I we, had. Does anyone else have any points? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, on this lovely Monday, Meredith, into Memorial Day. Meredith. Did you have fun, Meredith? On in North Carolina? No, on, on the podcast. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are we going with this? Uh, I no, did. I right did. Now. Definitely a little nervous in the beginning, but you guys have been great. Treated me well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> put in and pretend that I know Big Brother. We're gonna have to have you come back another time because I don't know. We're more at least for me. Yeah, beings. I feel like I wasn't at my best today. Oh, whatever. have you guys ever had? Um, this is a random aside. Have you guys ever had? Um, that uh, I can't remember the name. No. Like juice? <laughs> what are we going with? Food? Yeah, is it like food? It's the super hydrating Pink. things. Liquid oh. IV. Liquid IV. Oh. Yeah. I have they, one in my purse right now. Do they really work? Justin no. has them in his. He okay. drinks them religiously. Justin and Cam both work. like love So them. really. Yeah. I get sick every time I put liquid IV in my water. I don't know if it's because I'm not stirring it enough, if I don't have enough water. Is oh, it maybe, because you're yeah. maybe, over maybe it's I, too concentrated. Maybe that's it, because I throw up every single time really? that I take like four sips when we were at the ski oh. house. Literally, immediately, it was like, oh, my stomach does not yeah, feel good. Yeah, maybe you need to dilute it and more. Is it because you're hungover or because you did So, yes, drink? I have definitely... <laughs> Um, yeah, but that's what it's like person, for. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to help with that. It's supposed to I wouldn't start. say it has a good flavor. So if you're already like super actually, hungover like and you drink flavor. that. Yeah, I don't mind the flavors. I'm, it's I almost got, like salty. I got like yeah. acai berry and like. Yeah. Do you like it or something? I don't know. I, so I ordered yeah. a bunch of them. I, I really went all in on this purchase for something I've <laughs> so you never like tried it. before ever. Yeah. I ordered like 64 packets or something. 64? Uh, yeah. And well, if we're going away for Memorial Day weekend. We're going to the Cape. You're going to 64 packets. <laughs> Little packets. Um, not packages. Packets. Packets. The packets are like that big. That makes like big box. Sense. Really? No. No, okay, no, no. I exaggerated. Uh, no, They're you're like going to drink them. You'll, well, you're going to give them to people too. I'm picturing like a little crystal light packet. They're bigger, a than little that. bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted it. to know if they're if they're good. If you had, I had that experience. If they really work, like I am a very severely hungover person mm-hmm. all the time, and we're going away with like all of our friends for from Friday to Monday, and I'm mm-hmm. like, I want to not be dying middle yeah. of the like Sunday. I can't do anything, and I'm yeah. just like feel like crap. And Sunday's I've, always the best day too. So I've never no like, you know when you're like. I don't know if like I just wasn't effect. hungover or no, I, I've never done it. I've done it wrong for sure. I okay. literally <laughs> think I just haven't, I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> okay. I think it does work. Everybody else How loves do you take it. it so. incorrectly. I don't know. Maybe you only water. put it in like eight ounces of water. No, 32 <laughs> ounces. Okay. Then I think you just don't react <laughs> well. Okay. All right. Well, I just hope no. I don't react the way no, you No, I don't think I stirred it at all. So with a straw, don't drink it with a straw. <laughs> I recommend. I don't know. Just put it in a big water bottle and like shake it. Water bottle, shake it, and just drink. Because okay. I think I drink the bottom of it first. Oh, and that it's yeah. like you get all the powder. Yes, just shake the water bottle. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, I you did know. do it wrong. You clearly, <laughs> no. very clearly, did I've been it wrong. doing this for like four times. I've only tried it four times, and I failed all. You didn't four shake times. the water bottle. Maybe Any you just don't. Times? Maybe your stomach just doesn't react well to it. Oh, that can't. It's be like it. Pedialyte. <laughs> did you ever drink Pedialyte? Yeah, I like Pedialyte. Uh, They're the same thing. No, I haven't really had Pedialyte either. Oh, I get the big bottles of Pedialyte. I almost like spent over a hundred dollars today on those drinks, morning recovery, because they're all over my Instagram. Because <laughs> Instagram I've, knows yeah. what you did last night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <They know. laughs> Instagram but, was watching you up all night on Saturday, which is creepy because they actually do. But um, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, wow, well, that's actually really weird. <laughs> yeah, they, they feel like they only ever get on the weekend. Yeah, they're... well, maybe they just know whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I almost spent over a hundred dollars on like a pack of them today. Um, but I feel like any of those things that I try. Every time I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I can't tell if it's just cause, cause sometimes I don't get hungover. 
And then sometimes I do. That's never the Danny happened to me. drinks. You're drinking the Danny drinks. The Great Goose. They don't help. They help with your hangover. They do. And like sometimes when I'm drinking, I like remember to drink water. But then the next day, oh, whatever. I don't know. So I to answer your question, I don't know if it actually works. <laughs> All right. I but it's do. worth a shot. I'll give a review and they can sponsor yeah. us maybe. That would be nice. But they're getting yeah. They've gotten We do big. always record these on Mondays after a long weekend, so that <sighs> would be a good I know. Sponsor. Maybe we should change the fucking day of this goddamn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's like, I actually have a huge problem with this. Danny's, Glad we brought it. It's my idea to do Monday night. <laughs> Glad we brought it up. Um, Danny's got the day off. She just <laughs> you have the whole day to recover. We all had to go to work today, so That's true. <laughs> you sleep it off. Well, well oh, whatever. I had to go to work. Work from home over here. Yeah, work from home over here too. Okay, well, I was in an office all day and the phone didn't fucking stop ringing, so I don't <laughs> want to hear anything about it. There's nothing more anymore. stressful, actually. Yeah. All right, yeah, well, anyway. We should probably wrap this up at this point. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this has been another lovely episode of Ladies Night. Thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to um, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Ladies Night underscore HB, and we will see you next week.